for our fourth question we are told that the mean of 25 observations is 36 and the mean of the first 13 observations is 32 and the last 13 observations is 39 which means the 13th observation must be included in both of the calculations because so we have observations let's call them t1 t2 t3 so on and look at the t13 when it comes right in the middle and then we have till t25 so the first 13 would include these and the mean is 32 the last 13 would include these and the mean is 13 9 so this particular term is there in both calculations so what we get from these three different uh, pieces of information is when you talk about all 25 put together the mean is 36 so that means the total sum sigma ti where i goes from 1 to 25 divided by 25 is 36 then we also know that sigma ti where i goes from 1 to 13 divided by 13 is equal to 32 and sigma ti where i goes from 13 to 25 divided by 13 is equal to 39. So, in case you are confused about what this sigma i going from something to something, let us call this m to n ti means. This is basically the sigma implies a summation. So, you are adding things and what are you adding? You are adding ti's where the i variable goes from m to n so that would be tm plus because you're starting from m and everything on the way till n so tm plus tm plus 1 plus tm plus 2 so on till tn this is what the sigma notation indicates so in this particular first case what we are basically saying is t1 plus t2 plus t3 so on till t25 that is what it means where i goes from 1 to 25 the whole by 25 is equal to 36 and this gives us sigma i goes from 1 to 25 ti is basically 25 times 36 which is equal to 900 and now from the second piece of information we get that sigma i goes from 1 to 13 ti that is the sum of the first 13 terms is so what is the mean the mean is 32 so 13 into 32 which is essentially 416 and this portion the last one where sigma i goes from 13 to 25 ti is equal to 13 times because there are 13 observations overall into 39 this is the given mean so this is essentially 507 so now what we have is the sum of the first 25 terms is there some of the first 13 terms is there and some of the last 13 terms is there so if i added these two this and this i will get sigma i goes from 1 to 13 ti plus sigma i goes from 13 to 25 ti is equal to 416 plus 507 which is 923 however these two put together are basically sigma i goes from 1 to 25 ti plus t 13 
which is because our T13 is showing up once in both of these summations. Therefore, when I combine them, one T13 goes into the total summation and the other extra is lying here. So, this is going to give us 923 and this sum, the total sum we know is 900, which means 900 plus T13 is equal to 923 and that indicates that T13 must be 923 minus 900 which is supposed to be 20.